Welcome to this tutorial on how to play Knights in White Satin by the Moody Blues. Um, pretty easy number, the only trouble is we've got four sharps to watch out for, but as always I'll go over these sharps just to make sure that you um, remember how to play them. Alright, I'm going to go with the tutorial. So mainly what we've got here is a verse and a bridge, and then a verse and a bridge, and a verse and a bridge, and then it ends on the bridge. So that's pretty much all we've got to, do, go, um, got to go over, really. So it starts on G sharp, one, two, three, little finger on the side pad there. Make sure, we're gonna use this pad a lot, so remember about this pad. So we've got G sharp key, C sharp key, B key, and B flat key. So what we need to focus on today is this G sharp here, and in a minute we'll go over this C sharp there too. Really nice number to get used to playing a low C sharp. Okay, so the first um, little bit, that's G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp. G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. That's got a little bit of what we call an akakichori if you want this posh name. It's a little grace note where we flick off. So we do G sharp, flick off to C sharp. That's G sharp, C sharp, B, A, B, G sharp. That's the low bit, so F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp, low C sharp. Now let me just rotate to you here. So we're going to play all six, one, two, three, one, two, three. Little fingers going down on the C key, and I'm also going to play the outside key. There's my inside B, I'm going to play this outside key there. And that's E, C sharp, E, C sharp. If you've not played that note very much, get on it because it's quite an important note and it's very important for this tune. Of course, if you're really struggling and you can't play that note, you can put the whole thing up an octave and all be well with the world, but it's worth getting your fingers around that note, of course. C, C sharp there. E, C sharp. Next bit, pretty much repeat at the beginning. <laughs> F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. E, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp. B, C sharp, B, A, B, G sharp. There's one out. That's E, F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, C sharp. Then it goes into the bridge or the chorus, which I might be on to call it, it's a short chorus, I guess. It goes. That's C sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp. That's C sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp, C sharp. <laughs> that next part goes. So that's 
E, D sharp, C sharp flicks to D sharp really quick. So watch out for that bit. C sharp to D sharp really quick. Da da. E, D sharp really quick C sharp to D sharp C sharp C sharp D sharp C sharp flick from the B. B C sharp again. Then it goes back to B. Then it kind of falls. Da. So we want to go. So we want to go. That's B. A sharp on the side, so I'm playing two fingers plus my side key here, this bottom pad, one, two, three, the bottom one. A natural, G sharp. That's it slowly, B, A sharp, A natural, G sharp. And that's the effect that you're after at the end. Okay, on to the next part which is pretty much the same as the beginning really, apart from it just changes rhythm slightly. So I'm not gonna cover that because you can probably pick that up from the original if you get a lyric sheet up, which I'll post somewhere. Um, fed the lyric sheet up and then you'll probably be able to work out this for yourself. It's only a rhythm change. So instead of going, change the lyric slightly and goes, not a big change at all, it's just a rhythmic change. Okay, so that's pretty much the chorus, and then what we do is we repeat the chord of the verse, then repeat the chorus, and then the flute comes in with this. <laughs> So that's G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B. C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, A. C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, A. B, C sharp, B sharp, which is the same as C natural. It's what we call an enharmonic equivalent, but it's the same note. B sharp, C natural, same note. Then on to the next part. Oh, fuck's sake. On to the next part. G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, D sharp. Remember, D sharp is one, two, three, one, two, three, and little finger there. Little finger on that little pad. It's not the low C, but the D sharp key there. Let's go over that again. G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp. Let's just do that in two sections together. Let's do that in two sections together. That's G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, E, D sharp. Next bit. E, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp. And tag D sharp, E, D sharp on the end. Okay, the last part of that little flute section. So 
So that is G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp. <laughs> G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, A, G sharp, A, G sharp. Okay, got that? Now flip back if you need to, of course. Next part, it is a little run from low C sharp to high C sharp. So. That's what we're trying to go for. So what I'm going to do is play C sharp again, outside key, then play all the notes in between. So I'm going to do a little chromatic run, it's a glissando, I suppose you want to call it a glissando, where you play every single note. So it's C sharp, D, E sharp, sorry, D sharp, E, F natural, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C sharp, C, C sharp. So that's what you're trying to go for, that's the effect we're after. You don't have to get every single note in there, it's not important that you play every single note, it's the effect that you're going for. Because you play every note in there, that's a bonus, but you're going for an effect, so just a little run. So if you only do that and just do five or six of the notes, that's fine too but you get the overall effect of doing this glissando. Last bit. So that's G sharp, C sharp, B, C sharp. Okay, so that's all the parts you need for Nights of White Saturn. That's everything covered. The flute part and the, to the verse and the chorus, all you need to do now is go hit up the original and get playing along with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next Saxcast tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye.